Finally, the BWT Alpine F1 team unveiled their new contender to the world will contest the 2022 FIA Formula One World Championship. Say hi to the A522. It was unveiled in Paris under the sport's new raft of technical regulations designed to produce closer and competitive racing. However, there are still so many questions ranging from the simple, how fast can it go? What are people's thoughts? So in this video, we will be finding out more news about the brand new BWT Alpine F1. After waiting for so long, BWT Alpine F1 is finally here. The A522 keeps its traditional livery, Alpine Blue, matched with a beautiful pink to show off the color combination for this year's BWT. The Anglo-French based manufacturers announced this model as their 2022 campaign and even secured their first victory under the Alpine banner when Esteban Ocon won in Hungary. With such a wonderful vehicle last season and they ended the campaign sixth in the constructor's standings. And Ocon got a double world champion, with Fernando Alonso being a close second, with F2 champion Oscar Piastri fulfilling reserve duties. The launch of BWT Alpine F1 team's second Formula One car was led by Alpine F1 team CEO Laurent Di Rossi, the CEO of Renault Group Luca De Mio, as well as the newly appointed team principal Otmar Zafnauer, who takes up the reins of running the F1 operation having left rival Aston Martin in January, making his first live appearance after the release of the Alpine. Speaking of the vehicle, Alpine will run a striking new livery that is predominantly blue with its pink highlights in a nod to their new title sponsor BWT. But on Monday night, they also presented a swapped livery, with pink being more dominant than blue. This special design, which you can see in the gallery below, will be used in the first two races of the year in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Laurent de Rossi made a couple of statements on this happy occasion. Laurent de Rossi made a couple of statements on this happy occasion. He said, It's with great pleasure that we launch our A522 to the world today, marking the next chapter in Alpine's Formula One journey. He continued, We have a clear plan and vision in place at Alpine, and we have some of the best people in the business to help drive us forward and realize our ambitions. Our team is stronger now, and we hope future-proof. The excitement in Rossi's speech shows that he does indeed place all of his trust in his work partners, as well as those who contributed to making such a vehicle. However, he also seemed like he wanted to voice some doubts over whether Alpine will lose its relevance in the near future. Next, in Viri Shatilan, the team recently appointed Bruno Famon as the executive director of Alpine Racing. He was tasked to maximize the engine performance and integration into the A522's chassis. Staff across factories in both England and France have been working flat out for 18 months to create the A522 against the new radical regulation changes introduced for the 2022 season. And with the new rules in mind, they made sure to improve the engines as much as they could. Alongside the completely new chassis and car build, the Anglo-French based squad was proud to showcase its all-new Renault E22 powertrain, marking another chapter in the French manufacturer's heritage in the sport. The fact that the team manufactured such a vehicle out of scratch without using any of their past designs, and more importantly, while respecting the regulations, really showed how Renault cared for the quality of the vehicle. With the Alpine F1 team keeping stability in their driver lineup of duo Alonso and Ocon for a second year running with the latter scoring the French manufacturer's first victory under the Alpine banner last season at the Hungarian Grand Prix with the Ocon scoring his 20th record-breaking campaign in the sport. The French manufacturer ended the 2021 season sixth in the World Constructors Championship standings. Ahead of the team's launch of their 2022 car on Monday in Paris, France, Alpine announced that the new organization will allow the team to fight for the championship within 100 races of the introduction of new regulations, and even stated that the vehicle was built to sweep new technical rules. Don't go anywhere, we have more important news to show you about the BTW Alpine, so stick around to find out more and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Next, Otman Safnauer has reportedly left Aston Martin earlier this month and joined Alpine with 33 years of experience under his belt with motorsport and car manufacturing. He has been linked with a move to the French manufacturer last November. Bruno Famine will also be the executive director of Alpine Racing at their engine base in Viri, with more than 15 years of experience in his hands by working with Pago on their motorsport projects in addition to his work with motorsports governing body, the FIA. No wonder the new Alpine gets all of this hype when there are executives of the highest caliber available. Next up, FIA Formula 2 world champion Oscar Piastri is the team's official reserve driver after graduating from the team's academy last year. Piastri won a convincing F2 
victory as a rookie in 2021, his third consecutive title in three years following victories in FIA F3 and the Formula Renault Euro Cup. Despite being considered as one of the most exciting young talents to emerge in recent years, the 20-year-old Australian will miss the 2022 season due to his road to F1 being barred. Rather than that, the Alpine Academy graduate will serve as the Enstone team's official reserve driver, alternating his time between the simulator and race weekends. However, Piastri, who says he wouldn't rule out a one-off race appearance but strongly doubts he'll compete in a full season, believes 2022 won't be a waste of time because he'll absorb a wealth of information while observing and working with Alpine's race drivers, Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon. Of course, I'm eager to see the A522 for the first time, but also to drive it for the first time this week, Ocon added. It's always a joy to drive a new Formula One vehicle for the first time, as you're aware of all the hard work that has gone on behind the scenes at both the Enstone and Viri plants, from the numerous brilliant individuals who work in the various departments. Piastri, who will test the Alpine 2021 vehicle at various times throughout the season in preparation for a full-time seat, admitted that he does not need to be in the car to develop as a more complete driver and learn to deal with engineers at a Formula One level of detail. BWT Alpine F1 team's driver pairing of double world champion Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon were on hand to reveal the Renault-powered A522 to the world. The new look team will be aiming to go from strength to strength in 2022 with further progression after Alpine impressed in its debut season in the sport last year. The technical side of the BWT Alpine F1 team will continue to be led by the experienced duo of Chief Technical Officer Pat Fry and new Team Technical Director Matt Harmon at Enstone. Alonso shared more details about the progress they went through when making the Alpine and that he was preparing himself for the brand new season since the buildup has been a very long time coming after the rule change was delayed as a result of the pandemic. He also confessed that the automotive industry seems to be implausible with the brand new rules in place and he sure does like the brand's new livery. And with the new engine, they were confident they were walking a path of good development for the new generation of cars. Alonso excitedly concluded by saying that the true performance of the car won't be revealed until the race in Bahrain. However, he did mention that they are doing a lot of test spins to keep its durability checked up. Zafnauer showed his impression about the whole thing and couldn't help but show how thrilled he was to be part of such a great project and to join the BWT Alpine F1 team. His motives were to bring the team to fight for the championship within the next 100 races and focus his attention more on preparing for the start of the season in Bahrain, just like Alonso. Bruno Famine also didn't shy away from expressing his opinion, and much like his two business partners, he saw this experience as a great to be back in competition and an even greater honor to join Alpine. He showed his ambition about the unique engineering capacities and personally thanked the Viri Chatelon factory for helping them achieve their goal and by working closely with the teams in Enstone, Dieppe, and Boulogne Bilancourt. Rivio said, Alpine's band of racers is a key to its long-term performance and I'm thrilled to be able to contribute to the exciting ambition to shape a new culture within racing that is responsible and inclusive. Formula One is a flagship, but we also need to develop our ambition in new territories and I am ready to support Laurent Rossi towards this goal. As Alonso mentions, the A522 is due out on observation on the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya on February 23 as pre-season operating will get below method. So do you think the BWT lives up to its hype? Are you excited to see the new 2022 Challenger? Are you ready to see the A522 in action? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe with the bell on to receive all of our latest editions.